All right, halftime, guys. Halftime. Um, yes. uh, Butthead5297 says, I really hope the Ravens win. Who are you rooting to win uh, in that first game? Uh, I'm going to be Steelers. I got to say, I actually like the Steelers. I have no problem whatsoever with the Steelers. I actually Welcome am a fan. Green Bay. A little bit. Not, I'm not a big fan. I, just a little, little, I do kind of like the Steelers. Even though they are black and mustard yellow, not black and gold. The Saints are black and gold. That's what gold looks like. Also, the Packers suffer the same problem. They are not... Ooh, probably should not have taken it out. Sometimes in that situation, you see a guy break it out of there for a big gainer, and the crowd goes crazy, and everybody's excited, and sometimes you get stopped inside the 20, and it hurts your team. First down and 10. Oh, come on. Collapsing. You have to block. Makes a handoff and tackle immediately. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. He's searching for a receiver. Has oh, a man out to his right. On. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw. Uh, Payton says, what exactly anywhere, happened to Reggie Bush after like Mark Ingram got drafted? Um, they ha had every intention of keeping him, uh, and that was completely true all the way up until about a week before they traded him. Um, and what had happened was that all of a sudden, Darren Sproles was potentially available situation. for a tenth of the price of what um, Reggie Bush tends to make. Uh, or was scheduled to make. Looking to his left. Uh, He's going deep. And so, so when the Saints realized they can get Darren Sproles and trade away Reggie Bush, uh, they jumped on the opportunity. It sucks. I'm a huge Reggie Bush fan, but it made sense for the team. It, it really did. So you have to give props for that. Uh, I love my Dolphins, but I don't think they're going anywhere, definitely with Chad Henney. What do you think? I actually think the Dolphins uh, are going to take a up step in quality this year. The problem is they're in the AFC East, and they could be a much better team and actually have a much worse record. It's just a stacked team, because I, I think Buffalo is going to be better too. Um, definitely going to be a difficult time for the Miami Dolphins this year. Um, now yeah, Patey, uh, Darren Sproles can catch out of the backfield. Literally, if you look at the stats and the numbers, Darren Sproles is essentially the exact same kind of player as Reggie Bush, uh, only with even better stats. Uh, what do I think of Chad Henney? I think he's a fine stopgap. He's a Band-Aid. He's never going to be a quarterback. He's, the best-case scenario in the career and life of Chad Henney is that he lucks into a – um, Trent Dilfer situation where a now. fantastic defense takes him to a Super Bowl. That's he, he will not lead anyone anywhere. Orton with the Dolphins would have been cool. Um, I think the that's middle. the kind of quarterback they need. Um, they need a guy who's above average, good arm. And so far and in this one, as you can see, just, this player has been the you know, impact doesn't, performer of the game you know, so implode far. Implode on himself. I actually feel bad for Orton, his situation, because he's uh, with Denver it's now, and it's such a weird situation for him to be in, because they've got quality young quarterbacks who deserve a chance, but then they also have Orton, who deserves to, to be a starter. The Packers haven't had too many runs that have met a decent yardage up until that one, but sometimes if you just stick with it in the second half, things start to break. Uh, what do you think about Tom Brady and what he's done throughout his career? I think Tom Brady is the perfect example of down. how much a man can do with a perfect timing. He is not talent-wise, head and shoulders above a lot of the guys who he has significantly better numbers than. But what he does do is he takes the most out of any situation and truly the most and so you give him good players around him he literally can almost rank them undefeated throughout the entire season he deserves every ounce of credit he gets because it isn't just about talent it isn't just about ability it's also about clutch and um, being you know a stoic leader and just everything about what he does 
is um, you have to respect. He's a lot like Derek Jeter uh, for the Yankees. Like going down the middle with it. Lots of people. Come on, catch that! Oh, tipped away. like seven well, Saints touch that. Has to be a better decision maker than uh, that. But yeah, There's you, you no can't hate Tom Brady. Like to honestly, if you do hate Tom Brady, that just means one of you're a fan of a quarterback like Philip Rivers, Peyton Manning, or Drew Brees. Uh, and even then, a lot of those guys, you, you can't hate the guy. He's, you you have to respect them. Um, Cam Newton, on the other hand, Patey says, with Cam Newton this year, do you think the athletic ability and high potential is worth more than guaranteed mediocrity? Um, absolutely not. That'll make it second I think down Cam Newton, with 10 to go. Uh, I, I've got a bone to pick with Cam Newton because I think he's going to end up giving up his national championship just like Reggie Bush had to uh, and Auburn did. Um, had they not... And they just suspended him like they should have and rolled the dice. Well, LSU probably would have been in the national championship game last year. And uh, and I'm bitter about that because it sucks. And in five so to ten years from now, there's going to be an empty right spot there, from the 2011 the national game. championship. And it didn't have to be. There was a chance the team chose immediate glory. Or the school chose immediate glory over the right thing. Uh, and it's just... And Cam Newton is a big part of that. And the way he plays innocent on it, I think, is kind of disrespectful, and I'm not a fan. That said, his football talent is interesting. He's a Vince Young, Mike Vick type, and obviously that works half the time if you look at Vince Young and Mike Vick. Um, he has to improve his throwing ability because um, that's what Mike Vick did, and that's what made him successful is he became a good passer too. He had a strong arm and athletic, but he became a good passer and that's why he has success, whereas Vince Young has always been a terrible passer, and that's why he got benched and got cut. He's got it! Touchdown! The attempted pick comes up empty, and it goes for a huge gain. Uh, he has a reputation for going after the ball aggressively, and sometimes he's uh, going to get burned. You just have to I disagree with the gambling the of the pick for... I can't make the safety too happy putting them on a Cam because yeah, I guess, but it really they have, with the territory when you have good young quarterbacks on that team. Um, Most of the time, a what's his face? Oh, why am I forgetting his name? Mason Crosby. See if I can. Uh, Jimmy Clausen. So, uh, they've got Jimmy Clausen. And, the score, the Packers, you know, seven, I think he has the potential to seven. be really, really good. And I think you're not Green giving Bay him an opportunity. I'm not giving him a fair opportunity. More. Back and you're just going to clutter it up, and then you're going to have a situation like uh, like Brady Quinn, who had talent and ability, but oh, played for a team that didn't give him the fair down. chance. And now he's sitting, you know, third string on a team with a bunch of second stringers. They'll start this drive at the 20 yard line. Uh, Kill a CD we'll 07 says, What do you think of the Broncos' pass rush with Elmer Stumerville and Von Miller? Um, definitely one of the more potent pass rushes in the NFL. I think they are. Good coverage downfield. Um, he rolls out to his left. Oh, come Under on. Heavy pressure. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into Lame. the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play. Huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive but linemen needs a sandwich. almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double team him if they ever hope oh, to keep him on. off the quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly. And that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. Moore was the intended receiver. Still looking for an open man. Nice. Right over the middle. Uh, what if Tom Brady, Drew Brees were both quarterbacks for the same team? Uh, honestly, at the end of the third I think quarter, it's still it up. Uh, Tom Brady probably have would have the gotten the job three on the uh, to start. To break the top. But when Brady went injured and Brees would have come in for that season, From I don't think Brees would have given it up. I think he would have kept it. Uh, and I think he would have had to trade one of them because they're both too good to be on the bench. Breeze anyway, flips it out. Uh, what do I think of Aaron Rodgers? I think Aaron Rodgers has got a ton of talent and one of the classiest guys. The way he handled the Brett Favre, you know, situation. It's now alone. second and nine. 
you know, Ball totally classy. He deserves all of his success right now. He's going to his right. Throws. Meacham was his intended target. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, I don't think, is the, the number three best quarterback in the league. I think he's still behind uh, Breeze, Manning, and Brady uh, by a significant margin. I think Rivers might even still be better than him, if you want to be down, honest about it. Nine yards to go. Um, but Ball he's there. He, he's 38. in the discussion. He, a few more years of this, and, I mean, Passes out to his right. come on. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Oh, I got a punt. So Dang it's fourth it. down. The Saints. Uh, who isn't punt. in the spotlight when they win a Super Bowl? Um, Trent Dilfer. No. Oh. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20. First down and 10. <laughs> Rodgers hands it off straight ahead. Hammered in the backfield. Yeah, and nice. Linemen aren't the big I didn't do anything. Guys that was good. That used to All good. These guys are <laughs> athletes. They can move. And if you don't fool them on the delay, they're going to be standing right there in the face of the running back. All right. 